I, I don't think people realize there's so many pieces that go into just making two hands tell you the time of day. I think that's incredibly powerful. I, I probably wasn't the typical four-year-old, but I wore a watch all the time. I'm Cameron Weiss and I'm a watchmaker, keeping the history of watchmaking alive. The first time I had a watch, I was fascinated. Something about it intrigued me that you wear it and it was like a little machine that was on your wrist. This uh, was the first watch that I ever opened. My great aunt came up with the idea that we should open it up and see what everything inside looked like. I wasn't allowed to mess with the lawnmower, that's a little dangerous, but uh, I did take apart everything that broke in our house. If it broke, I took it apart. I was just more interested in taking off the casing of whatever the item might be. Cameron, you know, he's, uh, like many watchmakers, is a little bit OCD. I tend to get something in my head and then I focus on it until it's done. If I want to make something, I could literally sit in one place and work on that one thing for an entire day. I look up to him a lot when he goes 12 hours without eating a meal because he's so focused on his bench. My grandfather Joseph was an Irish immigrant and fought in World War II, worked on skyscrapers in New York City, like the uh, World Trade Towers. Here's me and my grandfather. Here he is uh, letting me wear his jacket. As you can see, he was definitely somebody who wasn't afraid to get dirty based on that jacket. He got me started into working with my hands and being able to approach what is nothing with a set of tools and turn it into something. He taught me all about precision, doing everything to the best standards that you can possibly achieve and that's how you really master your craft. In the second half of the 19th century, we really lost mechanical watchmaking here in the US. It started slowly by sending production of certain components overseas. It went to the point that there was nothing here watchmaking related. We know that nowadays technology doesn't even last six months before the next new thing comes out, whereas this watch there is no such thing as a six month, one year, two year update. A watch is something more than just a timepiece. In the US it would have been easy for me to outsource everything. I can order this part from China, this part from uh, Indonesia, this part from another part of the world, but that's not what I want to do. I don't want to cut corners. I want to create the best watch that I can here in the US. I think Cameron took a huge risk in doing what he did. He had to go out on his own and, in turn, jumpstart an industry that doesn't even exist. I worked my whole life to become a Swiss-trained watchmaker. I traveled to Switzerland, trained under other master watchmakers. I came back to the U.S. wanting to create my own watches. And the way to do that is piece by piece. Each watch has hundreds of pieces in it, each one with very specific dimensions and manufacturing processes. If we really want an industry that is something special, something that can be mentioned in the same breath as Swiss watchmaking, then we have to focus on perfection all the way down to the most minute details. One of the things that we were always passionate about and we always talked about even when we were in school was we always had a sense that we could be the guys that put American watchmaking on the map again. I hope to really create a, an industry that lasts. I would hope that beyond me, there is an American watchmaking industry. This should just be really the tip of the iceberg. There's so much that can happen with watchmaking because it really is a timeless thing. It will last forever. There will always be watchmaking. For my whole life, I grew up always loving watches. I would put a watch on my wrist and it made me feel different. I would look down at it and it just gave me such an unexplainable feeling. Now that I'm able to create that watch and hopefully pass that experience on to somebody so that they can look down at a wise timepiece and get that same joy that I get out of a timepiece, that is something I hope to be able to do for the rest of my life.